well sure welcome you all to the next interactive session on um, the continuation of the previous topic which is the KCL and KVL what we had discussed in the last two videos so we'll be continuing the discussion further and try to understand that which of the two would be more appropriate for the electrical circuit and why we'd be going for that so let us suppose our objective is to find out the current through 25 ohm for this particular circuit. Okay, so by using Kirchhoff's law we are going to find out this IL. So the Kirchhoff's law can be Kirchhoff's voltage law or Kirchhoff's current law. So we will be trying to apply the KVL first. And then we will be looking towards the KCL. Uh, from the previous discussion actually, it is clear that in case of a KCL, uh, the number of variables what we are getting to simplify, generally it is lower than that what actually we are going to use in case of a KVL. So if there are n number of variables in case of a KCL, generally it would be some n dash number of variable in case of a KVL where this n dash would be greater than n and generally it is one more than uh, that because uh, the number of nodes will be slightly lower than the number of branches. Now coming to this particular circuit, if we want to apply KVL over there, what we should do? We have to consider some loop current. So let us suppose I am assuming the loop current according to the convention. I told you that we should go like the convention says we should prefer to go like the convention says we may take the other way around but let me assume to follow the convention so let me suppose this is i1 this is i2 this is i3 now this is given so what again then what we have to do we have to find out the voltage drop I could see this is the voltage drop across 5, this is the voltage drop across 2 ohm. In this slope, this should be the voltage drop across 2 ohm. This is the voltage drop across 10 ohm. Now, if the current is like this one, so the voltage drop would be plus minus, plus minus, and plus minus. It would be something like that. Now what about the voltage drop across this 5 ampere and 10 ampere I mean, current source? It is a current source, not a voltage source what uh, we are doing it um, previously. So in the, that case generally we are not aware of that what is the voltage drop across this 5 ampere or 10 ampere. Now since we don't know actually this drop across this current source, so if there is some sort of circuit where actually we are having some current source, we try to convert it into voltage source if we have to apply K field, that is a general convention. If there is one say resistance parallel to 10 uh, amp uh, current source, then we can convert it into voltage source. So then we can do like that way or else if nothing is given. So generally it is not recommended to go for KVL. So one thumb rule what we could do, I mean, in some books it may happen that the current is assumed to be in this direction, now there is a 5 ampere source. So the current through it should be 5 ampere. Now the direction of I1 and this source is opposite, so we may take I1 equal to minus 5 ampere, and similarly I2 may take minus 10 ampere. We may do it, but generally for this sort of arrangement where uh, since we don't know what is the drop across it, it is generally avoided to incorporate KVL in the circuit where we are having the current source and we can't eliminate this current source to the voltage source. Or if the conversion is possible, then we may go for it, but if the conversion is not possible, then it is generally avoided. So the option which is remaining over us is KCL. So now this is the circuit we are having. So if we are going to apply the KCL, so what we need to do? We are assuming this node, uh, this time to be at 0 volt. Now identifying the nodes. 
this is not say one this is not say two this is not say three okay now we are assuming some node voltages say v1 v2 and v3 anything else what we need to do we need to assume some direction of current so let me assume direction of current would be something like this i am assuming a current i1 in this direction i2 in this direction i3 in this direction and il is already given that this is in this direction so we are assuming the current direction something like that you may take a different uh, one as well there is no problem at all but generally uh, whatever we are taking we have to stick to that and solve the equation in the similar way so how to proceed next we have to consider node 1 and apply KCL in the node 1 so applying KCL in node 1 then what is going to happen we could say that this 5 ampere is coming out I1 is going out IL is going out so can I write in this way that 5 plus I1 plus IL that should be equal to 0 because all are outgoing and there is no incoming so the all the out sum of all outgoing should be equal to 0 now just apply what is i1 i1 is basically v1 minus v2 by 5 we know so we have to we could write 5 plus v1 minus v2 by 5 il now il is potential at this point is v1 potential at this point is v3 so it become v1 minus v3 by 25 should be equal to 0 so we are having some sort of equation like that now if we are going to simplify the equation we are going to get some relationship like uh, 6v1 minus 5v2 minus v3 should be equal to minus 125 if you are going to simplify it something like this one you are may going to find it's my suggestion to come across it should see that whether there might have some error which may creep in because I don't rely any textbook or any standard source even if I do it manually there might have some human error over there so just confirm it so let me say this is the equation number one now what we are going to do we are going to apply KCL in this second node so applying KCL in node 2 so in node 2 what is happening I2 is incoming I1 is incoming I3 is outgoing so what we could write there I1 plus I2 should be equal to I3 now what is I1 V1 minus V2 by 5 so v1 minus v2 by 5 plus what is i2 10 minus v2 by 2 should be equal to i3 so i3 is what v2 minus v3 by 10 So if you are going to simplify it according to my calculation is coming to be 2 V1 minus 8 V2 minus V3 equal to minus 50. Let us suppose this is equation number 2. Now similarly if you are going to apply KCL in node 3 this note what we could see i3 is incoming il is incoming 
10 ampere is also incoming. So all the three are meeting at this node 3. What we could write then? IL plus I3 plus 10 should be equal to 0. So IL is V1 minus V3 by 25 plus I3 is V2 minus V3 by 10 plus 10 should be equal to 0. So if we are going to simplify according to my calculation I would be getting something like this one 2v1 plus 5v2 minus 7v3 is equal to minus 500. Let us suppose this is equation number 3. So if we are going to solve the equation number 1, 2 and 3 we are going to get what? v1, v2 and v3. So what uh, I am getting actually I am getting V1 equal to minus 14.73 volt, V2 is equal to minus 5.36 volt and V3 equal 63.39 volt. This is what according to my calculation is saying. It is recommended that you will just simplify the things and cross check whether the three equations what I had obtained whether they are correct or not. If they are going to correct and then if you are going to simplify it we may or we should get something like this one. If there is some difference, you may get some different answer. But uh, try to follow the procedure and do it of your own. It's my recommendation. Now what we need to do, we need to find out IL. So what is given IL will be equal to according to the convent direction what we are given. This is V1 minus V3 by 25. So putting the value of V1 and V3, so it be coming minus 3.125 ampere this is what actually we are getting now what we are seeing that the value of IL what we are getting it is negative what it implies that if you are considering the circuit we are assumed that the direction of IL is in this direction but actually IL will be flowing in this direction this is actual So the direction what we had assumed here, it is not the actual one. The actual one would be in the reverse direction. So from this particular problem, what we had understood, the primary thing what we had understood that um, if you are having any circuit where there is some current source in the loop, it is not recommended to use the Kitschhoff voltage law. Because we don't know what is the voltage drop across the current source. And that is what the primary knowledge what we are getting. Then, the lastly what we had found that if the value of IL what we are getting is negative. This implies that the actual current would be opposite to what that we had assumed. And that is what I would be talking repeatedly in the last class as well. Now if you think of the voltage, so the voltage are negative here. So what is here that he is having the highest voltage and then they are having some negative values. So if this is a higher potential, this is a lower potential. So the current of direction of I3 will be opposite. Now if you could think of this is minus 5.3, this is minus 14. So obviously this is at lower potential in compared to this. So current would be flowing in this direction. So again, the direction of I1 will get reversed. Now let me try to think of the I2. This is at plus 10. This is at minus 5. So obviously the direction would be in, direct, in this direction only. So this is what the point is. And this point you need to take care of while solving any circuit related to KVL or KCL. And one more point uh, you should keep in your mind that if you can understand this KCL and KVL properly, you can solve any circuit which is given over there. But the only point you need to think of that what about the voltage drop if I'm taking the KVL what about the voltage drop what is there sum of all should be zero we need to take care of the direction polarity I need to take care of very carefully similarly in case of a KCL we have to consider the polarity if I am assuming the current from one node to another node so what about the potential difference if I am taking it carefully 
then we are going to get the desired answer. So I am stopping here. If you have any query, you may ask it to me. Hopefully you have understood uh, the lecture session and uh, it would be helpful for you, possibly. If that is the fact, then kindly uh, like the video and share it to your friends so that it may be beneficial to multiple number of persons. Thank you. Have a nice day.